Hey everyone, good afternoon, Creator Mom. So today I just want to make a video on uh, narcissistic parents. And I'm going to be sharing again from the book Growing Up as a Scapegoat to a Narcissistic Parent by Jay Reed. He does have a YouTube channel, you should check it out. Um, his book is very um, validating. So, um, in the beginning of the book, he has a subtitle in the first chapter called How Does Narcissism Begin? And I just wanted to read this. Someone who is narcissistic has a fragile yet inflated view of their own self-worth and requires other people to keep it intact. This way of being can stem from early life experiences. The field of psycho analysis has contributed important insights into this psychological condition. Heinz Cahoot or Cahut and his form of psychoanalysis known as self-psychology argues that narcissism develops as the result of insufficient and inconsistent parental responsiveness. This understanding of the narcissistic person is a sympathetic one. Kahut observed that young children have an outsized belief in their own capacities or grandiosity. Simultaneously, they are particularly vulnerable and need for their caregivers to realistically and consistently nurture this belief. No parent is perfect, so the child is bound to feel missed at one point or another. But if that is the exception and not the rule, the child learns to trust that the parent intends to and will return to affirming the child when needed. The child puts these nurturing experiences into their psychology. During this process, the child's grandiosity gets transformed into a realistic and ongoing basis for self-esteem. I was like thinking that this is kind of like, it's interesting because it's like the child almost has to be grandiose in a way to make sure they're seen, right? And then once they're affirmed and said, hey, you're seen, then it's like, huh, okay, I'm seen. Like, I'm cool. I, I can be normal or whatever, you know? But yeah, I think that grandiosity is just to serve that purpose. Like, hey, I'm here. Look at me. Um, anyways, uh, he says, a child can be at risk of developing narcissistic personality disorder if they are consistently deprived of the need needed nurturing responsiveness from their parents. In these cases, the child is not offered the kinds of affirmation they need to internalize a sense of their own worth and abilities. Their grandiosity does not transform into a realistic basis self-esteem. They persist in their grandiose expectations in regarding themselves and others' responses to them. As they become older, they gain more influence in the world and have more people who are dependent on them. They can coerce others to reflect their grandiosity. I read that incorrectly. Let me reread it. As they become older, gain more influence in the world, and have people who are dependent on them, they can coerce others to reflect their grandiosity. The problem is that the lack of receiving this from their parents has created an empty bucket inside that never feels full. The narcissistic adult constantly seeks others' affirmation without it ever modifying their grandiosity. <laughs> Maybe because it's too late. I don't know, right? Their brains aren't, like, developing anymore. It's, like, set in stone. But, I mean, I guess that's another topic. Can a narcissist change or whatever? <clears throat> I will add here that someone who becomes narcissistic typically cannot empathize with others nor reflect on themselves in a realistic way. There is a concrete quality to their grandiose perceptions, which they refuse to question. The feelings of others do not seem to emotionally matter to these individuals. As a result, they are typically not the people who show up for therapy. It is more often the people close to them who possess this ability to empathize and self-reflect 
that end up see seeking counseling. Of course, not everyone who lives through such a depriving childhood becomes narcissistic. I have found this to be the case with survivors of narcissistic parents. Somehow these people retain the ability to reflect on themselves and others in a curious and empathic way. These traits make them vulnerable to the narcissistic parent's exploitation, but the good news is that they also make it possible to heal and eventually enjoy reciprocal relationships with safe people.